for somebody trying to start a business in the Gambia, I think the first step is, you know, start, especially for a young Gambian having an idea. Um, so my first advice is to get started, right? Um, because ideally what you want to do is you want to look for a problem to solve. And you want to solve it better than everybody else, right? Um, so, you know, the first step is really to get started and um, look for a problem to solve. Um, get the best and settle for nothing less. That's one, build a team, build a very solid team. Mostly focus on people who are, uh, are smarter than you, really, or people who know something that you don't. Because the reality is everybody you speak to certainly knows something that you don't. But you really need to find people who augment your area of weakness. So, because if you put that together as a team, really, uh, that makes a huge difference. I mean, if you think about it, a company as Asotec, I think there's nothing that we have produced that one person can just sit down and get it done. It's always been like teamwork, right? Like we have like some of the most, some of the sharpest people that I've ever met that when they come together, when you aggregate all of that work together, it just translates to something really powerful. So it should be, you know, you want to start by um, uh, building a very solid team. The third one is, um, you know, get as much knowledge as you can, right? Talk to people um, who are very experienced and take your thoughts. I mean, they'll give you their ideas, but you really have to have a sound judgment in making uh, your decisions ultimately, really. But um, get as much advice as you can get. Um, um, if you read books, um, if you can't, if you don't like read books, if you don't like books, maybe articles or watch videos. Um, um, I'm not too much of a fan of like motivational talk. I more like people telling me their stories that could, you know, um, consequently be very uh, motivational, especially entrepreneurship journeys. So I think that might be very um, helpful. Uh, fourth, um, never give up, really, because it's it certainly could get really challenging, right? And that is all part of the process. And um, feel free to pivot. Like you can start something, and you see that that isn't working. Feel free to to pivot to something else. You know that 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 is more likely to work, and it's okay to fail because every failure that you get is really a learning opportunity. Um, and don't waste time. You know, I think like there's a whole generation of people that are getting addicted to like social media and stuff. Um, I mean, I think these tools can be used in very powerful ways, but I think it also might be helpful to limit. Um, activity on social media and be disciplined in the usage of it. Um, because these platforms, platforms are inherently designed to be addicting. So it's not like um, it was so good, that's why you use it. It's, it's designed really, people sat down and say, how do we capture your attention as much as possible? So, and for, as for Gambians in the diaspora, we need you to come home. Because I think we need a very vibrant tech and business ecosystem. And bringing your knowledge and your expertise and your resources back into the country. I think that makes a huge difference. And obviously, things can get very challenging in the Gambia. And there are just so many things that could go wrong. And things from a distance could look like, oh, this is going to be a slam dunk. But it can get really, really a lot more challenging than you can imagine. But I think that the first generation of Gambians and the second generation of Gambians in diaspora who come back um, to start businesses here, have a unique opportunity and humongous potential uh, for growth. And I think that uh, the sooner these things happen, uh, the better. So um, I think that Gambians really should come home and get started, um, potentially try to see um, businesses that you can work with or individuals that you can partner with uh, to work on initiatives, or even go solo and try things small and see how those grows from there and adopt and take from there.